A former Bullet East High School boys soccer coach was arrested after police say students saw nude photos on his phone. WDRB's Grace Habit shares what happened and the message police have for the teenagers speaking out. Police say it happened here at Bullet East June 20th. Now the accused coach no longer has a role with the team. If you send your children to a soccer camp and this happens, you know, that is unacceptable. 45 year old Brian Davis, once a boys soccer coach, now faces multiple charges after students reportedly saw nude photos on his phone. One was uh, 14 and one was 15 years old at the time. According to Bullitt County Public Schools, Davis told two female team managers to use his cell phone to take pictures of those participating in a soccer camp on June 20th. That's when the district says, quote, the female students allege that upon accessing the phone's camera and photos, they were exposed to nude photos of Mr. Davis. The school district says it was made aware of the incident two days later. Davis was immediately suspended with pay and the district started an investigation. Mount Washington Police says it was notified by the district about a month later on July 18th and the school resource officer assigned to the case. He immediately started following up with the victims and their families and conducting interviews and gathering evidence. On July 25th, Davis resigned from his coaching duties. Police say he was arrested on Wednesday and bonded out the same day. He now faces four counts of distribution of obscene matter to minors. It's very sensitive and you want to be sensitive to the uh, the feelings of these victims because they did experience uh, trauma in this incident. Um, you also want to encourage them because what they're doing is, is very brave to come forward when someone violated them. Davis was first hired as a coach May 19th. The district's investigation remains ongoing. Davis is set to go before a judge for his arraignment August 23rd. Reporting in Bullitt County with photojournalist Frank Stamper, Grace Haba, WDRB News.